How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you everything that's in the Imperial Edition for the Elder Scrolls Online and that's all DLC and also all Imperial Armour as well. So to get your treasure maps, your pets and also your Pledge of Mari, you just need to read your mail and then get everything into your inventory. Once you've actually done a ritual with another person with the Pledge of Mari, you'll both get extra XP when you play together. And you also get the Imperial Horse, which is really slow to start with, but all you need to do is go to the stables and buy it for one gold. Pets are pretty cool as well, they don't really do anything, they don't attack, they just follow you around. My favourite ones a scuttler there if you want to use them with a different character then just put them into the bank and you'll be able to get them out with that other character but make sure you don't delete the character or you may lose everything the treasure maps are pretty cool as well it's going to give you a picture on an island of somewhere that you need to find and they're pretty simple really none of them are that difficult but you do get a whole lot of good stuff in there the stuff in the chest seems to get better the further away from the starting point that you are so a lot of this stuff i'm actually still using now you get a lot of good blue stuff and it's all enchanted as well another cool thing about the imperial edition is that you can change any armor in into the Imperial style and you don't even need to be Imperial when you're doing that so if you're Argonian or whatever you can still have Imperial style gear. This is all the veteran Imperial armor for every single class and both male and female. I like the Dragon Knight and the Templar the most and I'm going to start out with Dragon Knight but if you guys have got any questions about the Imperial edition definitely let me know. I think there's still a few more days before you can get this. I don't think you can get it after launch but I'm not sure about that. I've seen it going for as low as 64 bucks so it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Don't forget to check my channel out for loads more Elder Scrolls on online videos. Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.